Okay, good morning. It is Wellness Wednesday, and hey, chances are you may hear about some foods, but you're not sure what they are or how to use them in a meal or maybe even why they're good for you. So today as we follow the food, I'm breaking down the natural probiotic kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk drink made from a variety of yeast and bacteria. A rich source of calcium, protein, and B vitamins, studies show it supports the immune system, promotes digestion, and improves bone health. When you ingest kefir, you're taking in lots of strains of probiotics. Some don't make it to the gut because stomach acid can kill them. But the rest colonize your gastrointestinal tract and can stay there for a while, basically feeding the good bacteria in your gut. Enzymes in kefir further break down lactose, which helps with digestion. And a bonus? Kefir contains the essential amino acid tryptophan, which is helpful in calming your nerves and settling the mind. Okay, so here's the deal. The kind I got is just plain. I just picked this up at Trader Joe's. They have like strawberry and mango. I kind of felt like that would be cheating. Um, Several people trying it for the first time here. Now, this one has dairy. You can make kefir at home. You can add it to a smoothie. That's what I recommend. Um, or you could just buy it off the shelves like this. So there are dairy-free options too, by the way, which are made with coconut milk and even water, but those are not gonna have the same nutrient profile. I know it tastes kind of weird on its own. Larry's like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like drinking yogurt. It's that, like a liquidy yogurt. See, that's I, exactly what it I was kind like. of leaning even towards cottage cheese. Okay. Like a li like, and I, I like cottage cheese, so that's, I, it's not terrible to me, but I would agree. I don't see myself being like, yeah, I really need some kefir, a cup yeah. of kefir. <laughs> but oh, but no. would you add it to a smoothie if you were making a smoothie? I would, but mm -hmm. I, I do think, like, you mentioned the yogurt comparison. When you have plain yogurt, you're like, oh, this needs something, whether it's vanilla or yes. flavor or whatever. So I feel like it would add to something. Having it on its own plain, I might opt for Something a little extra. Yeah, yeah, a little extra. <laughs> yeah. for well, milk. I saw that added sugar in the other stuff, and it's I was like, no, 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 that's a good point, though. You don't want the added sugar. No, is that but man, in a smoothie, yeah, especially, you know, you whip yeah. some strawberries or some blueberries or something in it. Like, yeah. I could totally see it's it. It's got a little tang. There is a benefit to it. On some cereal, maybe, even? Sure. Yeah. You could stick it in a smoothie for your kids. Yeah. You know? So, anyway. I, it's really, it's growing on me. Now you know. Good excuse to head over to Trader Joe's and pick up some kefir. Yeah, I didn't even ask Greg if he wanted any. Don't. I'm, he's I'm he's going to it. Trader Joe's right after this. <laughs> <laughs> he yes. would not like this at all. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it.